The greatest event in phylogenetic history is a transition from aquatic to terrestrial mode of life. Amphibians are the first vertebrate to attempt this transition. Today we are discuss about the classification of amphibians. So without any further delay, let's start. Here we start with some basic characters of amphibians. The word amphibian comes from Greek word amphibios which means to live in a double life. These are cold-blooded vertebrates. Their integument is mainly rough with legs, hair, feathers or scales. They have two external nostrils communicating with buccal cavity. Respiration performed by gills, lungs or skin. They have both renal and portal circulatory system. They are mainly oviparous and fertilization is external or internal. Living members of Amphibia are grouped under three orders. Order first, Gymnophiona. Gymnos which means naked, Ophionos which means serpent-like. Here are some characters of order Gymnophiona. They are limbless, blind, elongated and worm-like. Tail is generally short or absent. Limb girdle is absent. Order 2. Eurodella. Euro which means tail, delos which means visible. Here are some characters of order Eurodella. They are lizard like amphibians, limbs usually weak, skin divides on scales, males without copulatory organs. This order is divided in further 5 suborder. Suborder 1st. Cryptobranchoida. Here are some characters of suborder Cryptobranchoida. They are most primitive and permanently aquatic. Adults are without eyelid. External fertilization occur. For example, Cryptobranchus. Suborder 2 Ambistomoda. Here are some characters of suborder Ambistomoda. They are mostly living on land. Adults with eyelid. Internal fertilization occurs. For example, Ambistoma. Suborder 3 Salamandroida. Here are some characters of suborder Salamandroida. The vertebrates are opisthocolous. Teeth are found on the roof of the pellet. They have internal fertilization. For example, Salamander. Suborder 4 Protoida. Here are some characters of suborder Protoida. They are living on aquatic. They have lack of eyelid and lungs. The skull is cartilaginous, for example, protus. Suborder 5, mints. Here are some characters of suborder mints. They are permanent larva except few adults characters. They have also lack of eyelid. They have horny jaws, for example, pseudobranchus. Order 3, anura. N which means absent or without. Ora which means tail. Here are some characters of order Anura. Amphibians with tail. They are mostly living on land, so they are without gills. Internal fertilization occurs. For example, Buffo.